today our topic is inside the working with web element methods so today i am going to introducing the three validation commands in web element so you can see validation methods so here i am mentioning validation methods so already we discussed 11 web element methods so mainly why we are saying this validation method means so we are getting that so if whether it is working or not this type of scenario now so there is a three validation commands present in the web element methods three validation methods are there. so what are the three validation methods are basically we can see here comments comments also open now one is is displayed method and second one is is enabled method and the third one is is selected method is selected method okay so why we are using this is displayed method means so so actually we are using this method to know element visible or not to know that element visible or not and coming to the is enabled why we are using this is enabled means to know element enabled or not and coming to the third one and uh, we need to know so in which scenario we are using mainly is displayed means for logos example we are using for logos like logos was displaying or not and uh, this enabled we are using for buttons enables we are uh, using for buttons and coming to the third method selected selected was using to know element selected or not selected or not and mainly we are seeing in a radio buttons which buttons it is radio buttons okay so this is the three validation comments one is is display is enabled and is selected and the return type is and the return type is boolean the return type is boolean so if it returns true if it it returns true element is is visible or else So if yeah, else it returns, if it returns false, so our answer is like a element is not visible. Okay. So this is the scenario. So we already know billion returns that true and false values only. The boolean returns only true or false values. Okay. Now we can see here. I am minimizing the uh, sorry. Uh, okay, we can go for the syntax also. Syntax is so syntax. So we can say boolean display equals to element dot is. is display element dot is display again we need to go for system dot out dot print ln display system dot out dot print ln display so if the uh, value returns true now we can say element is displaying if the value returns uh value does not returns any value we can say 
it was not displayed now we can see here i am minimizing the code so for working with this validation comments first i required a one web element okay here i am running the program sir once open the notepad sir Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, guys. Now we can see here. I am inspecting this logo. I already told that. So is displayed method. Here we are working with the is displayed. Mainly we are checking with the logos. So and uh, usernames, this type of things. Now here I am following the logos. Right click. inspect and enable the inspector so here i am selecting this image uh, i am selecting this image now here when i am inspecting this one here i got a so uh, one blue box separately so what is it was highlighting here here it does not highlighting any attribute value it was highlighting only img is the tag name double click on it Control C, Control E. How many matches are there? One matches. I am checking here. Only this logo was selecting this IMG. Uh, what is this pink one? Already, guys, I told that. I pink one is a tag name. Pink one is a tag name. And tag name is the one of the locators in Selenium. Okay. Now here, first I am initializing the web element. Web element. Web element logo equals to driver dot find element by dot tag name. Here I am using the tag name. Control V and now semicolon. Now here I initialize this logo. Here I initialize this logo. Now what I am doing means here I am using the syntax boolean display. Boolean display equals to. I am asking that if the logo was is displayed or not. I am asking that logo was displayed or not. System dot out dot print the length. In uh, now I am printing the. I am printing the uh, display here. Now control yes here I save this program. Now I am running this program again. Now here I am running this program. So you can see browser was open, and we are not performing anything here inside the page. We are not performing anything. Now minimize the code. What it was written? Hello guys. True sir. True. True. True value. Why it was written true? True, true value. Why it was written to? Is there any answer? Logo is displayed. Displayed. Yes. So it, it was slow. Logo. Yes. logo was displayed. Now you can see. I told that another method is E selected. We can go with the E selected to know element is selected or not. Mainly we are working on radio buttons and check boxes. Now minimize the code. Here I am open this web page again. So inside the web page, here I have a two radio buttons. One is male and second one is female. Now enable the inspector and inspect the element. So here it is the element. Click on it. Here I got that ID equals to gender male. Double quotes. Now Control C, Control F. Yeah, I'm pasting in uh, find box. Control V. I got a total one of uh, two matches. So one is a label, and another one is a box. So first preference was getting this radio button only. Now here I am minimizing the code. Now my web element is web element radio button. Web element radio button equals to driver. Dot find element by dot. I am asking that ID by dot ID inside the double quotes. Control V and then 
सेमी कॉलम नाउ बुलियन बुलियन सेलेक्ट इक्वल्स टू सो यू कैन यूज यूर ओन वेरिएबल आल्सो नो प्रॉब्लम सेलेक्ट इक्वल्स टू रेडियो बटन डॉट मेनली इट इज द मेथड ऑफ वेब एलिमेंट नाउ रेडियो बटन इज आल्सो वेब एलिमेंट एलिमेंट डॉट आई एम आस्किंग दैट इज सेलेक्टेड नाउ सिस्टम डॉट आउट डॉट प्रिंट एलिमेंट नाउ यू कैन सी कंट्रोल यस सो व्हेन आई एम रनिंग दिस प्रोग्राम सॉरी बिफोर दैट वी रिक्वायर्ड ए वन सेकंड गाइस हियर आई एम क्लोजिंग वन सेकंड सो हियर i am asking that print the select value print the what is the select value now control yes here i am running the same program again now you can see page was maximized demo workshop was open now here i am minimizing the code here i am minimizing the code now what it was printed hello guys all false false so before you uh, you got a output is true why here we are getting false hello guys so why because because it was in unselect it was in unselect now you can see here i am giving a name as a select one and here also i am giving a select one now we can see now radio button dot click radio button dot click and here i am saying that inside the double quotes inside the double quotes so before click i am saying that before click and after the click here yeah, i am going for the same program again control c and control v same element here i am giving a select to now you can observe the uh, like uh, what is the difference between uh, true and false now you can see here first i initialize the web element before click i am asking that it was selected or not after click i am asking it was selected or not now i am running my program so guys the program was executing so program was executed guys you can observe here mail was clicked now you can see what is that output oh before click ah one second click is false here. and after click after is uh, true after control yes Here I am mistaken. Once again, I am running the same code. Now it was enter. Now we can see. Before click, it is a false. What is the meaning of false? Before click, it was not selected yet. After click, it was written true. Now it was selected. Now what is the condition? It was. selected condition so what is the condition selected condition so this is the use of is selected method and this is the practical implementation of is selected and finally i need to perform another one method so here what is that is enabled method method name is is enabled method guys now so here when the cursor was pointing the register it was in enable state only be, be, because we can click this register button we can click this register button so disable means without uh, like uh, without filling this fields we can't able to click this register button now i am taking the locator of this register button enable the inspector and inspect the element now you can see here id register button first preference double click on it now control c control f and control v how many matches are there one matches you can see one matches now minimize the code here i am initializing the web element again i am initializing the web element the element is button 
and uh, the element name is button equals to driver dot find element by dot id by dot id id here i am uh, locating now so give the value of id locator inside the double quotes and giving the control v now you can observe guys here locator was got now enter so here i am using that again boolean is the data type boolean uh, enable equals to enable equals to driver dot sorry boolean enable equals to button dot is enabled button dot is enabled what is the method name is enabled button dot is enabled now i am going for the printing statement system dot out dot print align here i am asking the enable now control yes here i save this program now i am going to run this program so it was running successfully now you can see guys uh, here i am minimizing the page again so you can observe the outputs in console so one is true and another one is false and another one is after clicking true and finally it is a true because it was in a enable state okay guys so this is about validation comments of web element which commands it is validation comments of web element okay guys now so this is the program and this is the practical execution and what is the uses so in theoretical part we see the uses also